Michelle, what's your fat ass doing, girl? What you over there doing with your fat ass, Con? You a big, fat, nasty, tired, shaky, shaped ass bitch, girl. Just so you know. Good morning, good morning. My light is never right. Good morning. What's up, squad? Where y'all at? <laughs> Why you have to always be in my face? What's up, Tara? <laughs> you missed the way in. I, I lost 2.5 pounds this week, so I'm at 30. 36.5. I said 37.5 the other day because I had gained one, but I lost 2.5. I didn't lose the five that I promised, but I'm still, you know, we're still working on it. Like I said, every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Thank you, Be More Shoddy. You get ready to go see Black Panther? Cool, cool. I was thinking about doing that, but uh, I'll probably be working. I, um, I just watched the, well, I watched the screener copy for Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and um, do my write-up and stuff. Good morning, so that, you know, I won't be so rushed later. And I might do a video, I don't know. I was going to go over to the, um... To YouTube a little later and do a live, but I don't know, man. It seems like every single time I do a live, I start catching catching heat. Like, like when I say heat, I mean heat. It's like I can't say nothing. I can't, I can't disagree with nobody. I can't give my opinion on nothing. It's like as soon as I do that, it's like they want to shut me up. And when I say shut me up, I mean intimidate me, harass me threaten me man when I tell you somebody put my my phone number on the internet somebody put my phone number on the internet and I got like tons of text messages I got um tons of voicemail messages and I'm thinking about pressing charges but you know with me it's like I don't have time man I don't have time to be running back and forth to court I swear I don't but I'm really considering it because it was really uncalled for and unprofessional and um if y'all thought i didn't feel some kind of way before i really feel some kind of way now i really do yeah my lawyer can handle it but i still gotta be there i mean you know i still have to testify i still have to like you know it's all good but very unprofessional and for those who i mean i can say it ain't no big deal t.s madison's manager put a text between me and Alex on the internet and he was claiming that I said that I wanted to interview Maddie which I never did like I said the other day I never did <laughs> I stand by everything I said then when he put the text out coincidentally he um, made sure he blacked out Alex's number but he left mine clearly visible hmm isn't that interesting? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? And then he, you know, he posted it on Facebook five, six, seven times, you know, whatever. Uh, then he posted it on Instagram. Okay, I reported it, whatever. They took it down. Then he goes and posts it on, um, oh, you want me to say it? <laughs> Everybody telling me to save it for the live. Okay, I'm going to save it. I'm just going to save it. I'm just going to save it just gonna save it uh diva love uh the text went from alex to t.s madison and it was before this whole breakup but we'll talk about it we'll talk about it you know actually i could just put this on instagram i mean on um youtube zills i'm not even tripping 
Um, so yeah, T.S. Madison is involved in the mess. So when I say, you know, I, anyway, cause y'all heard me, like everybody who's watched any of the videos that I posted, I have never said that I dislike T.S. Madison. I have never, you know, intentionally like, you know, said anything to disrespect him, <laughs> her, whatever you want. Like I, I haven't. So for him to like, for his manager to go online and do that, like I, like even when I posted the manager's video on my YouTube, I didn't even provide any commentary, none, zero, zilch, nada. Everybody else formed their opinion and everybody else ran from there. So because I presented the facts as I found them, now it's an issue. And like I said, it's it's always you know it's intimidation, it's um, harassment. It's a lot. Like, my phone was blowing up. And I was like, I even told, I called Zilla. I'm like, why is my phone blowing up? Then I'm paranoid after that. I'm like, you think they hacked my phone? Like, I'm like, what is going on? It's like voicemail messages after voicemail messages. And trust me, I got copies of everything. He didn't say anything. That's the point. He, um, when I posted the video and y'all saw the video of him saying whatever he had to say about Kaya, calling Kaya homophobic because she said, you know, that they were going to beat up Funky Dineva or whatever. Um, you know, I just put the video up. And so I asked in the title, is this one of the messy punks that Kaya was talking about? Because I really want to know, is this one of them? I didn't call him a punk. I don't know the man. I don't know the man from, from Jack. I don't know T.S. Madison and I never met Kaya. So for those of you who think I'm on one side of, or the other, I am not. I am just a blogger who is contributing my thoughts and opinions like everybody else in the world. Funky Dineva has no contribution to how I feel one way or the other. Like I told you, I was a fan of the show. So all the people who think that can, you know, jump off a bridge or whatever. But it's just, you know, it's just interesting. Yep. Be more shorty. That's exactly what's going to happen. Because first and foremost, again, the text went from Alex to T.S. Madison. Secondly... You know, it had my phone number in it. Alex gave them my phone number. We, you know, of course, you know, we petty. We joking around. When Kaya first said, you know, I'm going to put Funky Dineva on the docket. This was before he did all the other stuff. The second video he did. Um, she, um, we were joking around about, you know, maybe you could be a witness. This, that, and the third. I'm like, well, maybe I could, child. Tell them I want to be on the show. So he sent them a text. This is before we knew they were ever coming back. He um, sent them a text saying Michelle want to be on the doc, you know, want to be a witness. <laughs> Call her or whatever. And T.S. Madison hit him back like, cool, whatever, whatever. And so the thing is, Gio used that to form a narrative and say, go online, talk about straight from the A is only saying what she's saying because, you know, she doesn't like Madison because Madison wouldn't give her an interview. That is completely untrue, completely, totally. And so, and, and you know, to defend himself or as proof, like he said, he deals in receipts. He posted the text. And again, they blacked out Alex's number and they, you know, left my number out. And you can clearly see it. But I filter my phone calls. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just, it, it's, you know, again, it's harassment. It's harassment. And I feel like if I wasn't a black woman, it wouldn't have happened. If I, you know, if I was any of the other people involved, like I said, it's a gazillion people on um, YouTube right now talking about it. If I was any one of them, it would not have happened. It would not. I, I promise you it would. So now all of a sudden, you know, he's all on Twitter calling me a homophobe and a transphobe and everything else. And I'm like... They're doing this, they're trying to do the same thing to me that they're doing to Kaya. So, yes, now I totally believe what she's saying. <laughs> you know, at first it was like my gut instinct. Now it's like because I'm experiencing it, child, these people are insane. Like when she say messy punks, those are some messy punks, period. And messy punks has nothing to do with gay or straight. A, a straight man could be a messy punk, uh, whatever. Straight, gay, bi, whatever. This has nothing to do with homosexuality. This has everything to do with being messy, petty, drama-filled, all of the above. Like, who would want to work with somebody like that and, and, like, have to split money with somebody like that or have to, you know, like, who would ever want to do that? Calvetta, you know, it, it is what it is. I, here's, I, I am just outdone. I am going to talk to my attorney about it, but, I mean, I'm, I don't even want to spend money on these 
my, my attorney doesn't work for free. <laughs> so, you know, I have other things to do. I got work to do. And, you know, I feel like this is just a de devil with a distraction. Because, again, all I did was provide an opinion. That's all I did. And y'all know I'm not even comfortable on YouTube. That's why I was like, well, let me put, let me go live on YouTube and let me talk to, let me answer some questions. And I'm just answering questions as honestly as I can. So, it's like, what, I mean, you don't want me to talk, period? You don't want me to say nothing, period? And then he goes online like, you shouldn't have never said my name. You shouldn't have, What? Like, we all talking about the Queen's score. Isn't that what they do? Isn't that what they do is talk about pop culture, talk about news, talk about everything else? So if they talk about somebody and they're like, you shouldn't have never said my name, it's dumb because we're talking about news. <laughs> so that's my thought on the matter, honey. That is my thought. But, um, yeah, it just bothered me a lot. You see a rat? Maybe. I don't think any professionalism is involved in this situation, um, Tara Tuta. I really don't. I really don't. From whatever side, it is what it is. Um, no, he didn't make a video about me, um, Crystal Clear. I posted the video about him when he, you know, was talking about the whole... Uh, Queens Court situation and he was saying that he was T.S. Madison's business manager and honestly the only reason I posted it was because someone up under my video my last video of Kaya said why don't you post T.S. Madison's manager video you you know you're so biased you only post Kaya's video and I'm like oh okay well okay it's not on YouTube let me post that I put it on YouTube you know let's talk about it and that was it so for him to like you know come at me like as if I'm any different than anybody else you know I'm offended I'm offended I'm appalled I'm all of the above so for you know <sighs> them to try to pull that homophobe card and you know bring in the whole LGBT community and man I've been called so much many things these past few days i've been called gary coleman i've been called a big black gorilla i've been called fish market i've been called everything and so y'all saying all this stuff about me just because i said he <laughs> I, I i think there's um a very big double standard when it comes to the situation so and i you know now i i, I see it more clearly than i saw it before the first you can see a difference oh thank you because I can't see a difference. I guess I can in my clothes, but I guess they can't. I can in my clothes. I do support the LGBT community. I really do. So it's like, you know, the only thing you can do is, is take me at face value the same way I could take them at face value. And at face value, you looking like a messy punk. You looking like a messy punk. Oh, uh, yeah, you can tell in inches. I mean, you know, look, I got my little sundress and stuff. I be, you know, I be, <laughs> I be getting it together a little bit. Zills, you back. So. Mm -hmm. I am a strong businesswoman, honey. The pen is mightier than the sword. That's all I got to say. So like I told y'all the other day when I was on live, if you thought I was biased, make it personal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make it personal. You just made it personal. You put my name, you put my damn phone number on the internet. Like who does that? Who does that? I didn't even care about the text. He could have put the text out all day long. He could still put the text out. But, I mean, at this point, I got screenshots of where you didn't already release the text with my phone number. And, again, I'm considering pressing charges. You know, and if you think that ain't a, ain't a crime, you better think again. So, Instagram locked his account. Tw Twitter locked his account until he deleted them. Um, Instagram just deleted it and Facebook deleted them. So, and then the remaining ones that were out there, I guess he was posting them up under like in comment threads or whatever 
a few of my followers had hit me up and was like, you know, I still see some or whatever, whatever. And I was like, can you flag them for me, please? And so they flagged them and then they were still up, I guess, the next day. And they basically went under the comment thread and and um, confronted him about it and was like, you do realize you can see her phone number, right? And he was like, well, that's not my intention. She needs to apologize to me this after. Like, first of all, this is not your intention. And that's basically saying that you're aware of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's still there. And then somebody went back and said, well, you should delete it then. Then all of a sudden he deleted it. Here's the thing, be more shoddy. My number has been the same for 15 years. Why am I change it just because some angry, messy punks? I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I mean, you know, I got different phone numbers for different things, of course. But, you know, I just never answer numbers I don't know. Simple. And if you want to leave a voicemail or you want to text me and say what you want, I'll call you back. Whatever. Simple. Simple. It says a lot, Tara Tutu. It says a lot. It says a whole lot. So, I mean, the thing is, like I said, you you never received a text from me. I don't care what the text from Alex said. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't think I know enough gays and trannies in Atlanta to, to, to find T.S. Madison if I really wanted to, if I was really serious about it? You know what I'm saying? So, it was just a joke. It was just like an aside. Like, sure, you know, <laughs> I'll be a witness, whatever. You know how I am. I was just like, whatever. Throwing shade, whatever. And Alex, <laughs> I love you, Alex. And I'm not throwing Alex under the bus. I'm going to let him tell his own story. I mean, at the end of the day, like... I had to think about whether I was going to share because, you know, it's, it's, it's petty, it's messy, it's drama filled. And then it starts this whole thing of the, the gays versus the straights, the, the transgender women versus the, the, the home hetero women. Like it's, it's stupid. Like, dude, it's not even that serious. And it's not a battle like that. We were talking about this show, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's really crazy now. It's like, just because I said that I feel like Kaya was wronged, then all of a sudden I'm, I'm transphobic and i'm homophobic and i don't like gays and he said a whole bunch of things on on the twitter <laughs> he said a whole bunch of things and i got each and every copy of it so um yeah exactly Tara Tutu. again it i mean even the message the message never said that i asked for an interview the message said michelle is a big fan of the show and she loved to to be on it and share your, her side and then he said something about maybe she could dish some dirt on you know the housewives or something and then t.s madison was like sure cool anytime and so that was it and again it wasn't from me i wasn't asking t.s madison for an interview he said specifically the only reason she feels like she feels is because she asked Madison for an interview and she said no. And the text doesn't even show that. So, well, I'm not sweating it now, but I was sweating it when my phone was blowing up when I, I had to turn off my phone because I'm out to dinner with my friends and my phone's blowing up. And I'm like, why is my phone blowing up with all of these different numbers from all over the country? Why is are people leaving me messages calling me a fat, ugly bitch and a gorilla? Why is like, where is this coming from? And that's when I found out, you know, he tagged me on Instagram. And then I was like, what the hell? And then somebody even on the Instagram was telling him, you can see the number, you can see the number. Number. he knew he knew so yeah it's not cool it is so not cool but that's all I got on that Isn't that right Biggie <laughs> yeah he knew it was intentional he knew it was intentional and then he tried to use it as leverage to say she take down the video, I'll take it down. No, nigga, you put my personal phone number out. My video is just my commentary about the situation. My video actually has nothing to do with you personally. My video is talking about how messy the entire situation is, just like everybody else's video. But my video, there's a difference. My video doesn't, you know, correspond to your narrative of Kaya's the bad person, Kaya is uh, LGBT, uh, Kaya should never work with the gay. My video didn't support that. So now because I'm saying something different, I should be silenced. I should be shut up. I should be intimidated and I should be harassed. It's not, it's not right. It is not right. 
But again, I, you know, I, I thought about if I was going to be quiet about it, if I was going to talk about it, um, what I was going to do. Um, again, I'm still contemplating what I'm going to do legally. Um, but, you know, I just came on really. <laughs> Originally, I just came on to say, hey, go to YouTube. But at this point, it doesn't matter. So that's it. Honey. It's Sunday. I'm washing clothes, cleaning the house, doing what I do. Doing what I do. So, you know, at first I was going to put, you know, the entire blame on him. But again, the text came from T.S. Madison. So I'm like, it, it's clearly, it's clearly one big mess. And here's another, here's another little tidbit that I found out last night. Okay, you know, I called them out about the trademark situation. Um, I called them out about, you know, have their business was pretty much defunct when they filed for the trademark. Uh, they filed in January. Uh, their business uh, dissolved in 2015. And I'm sorry, I'm getting texts. <laughs> their business dissolved in 2015. And so now, you know, they went and paid their corporation fees to like, you know, reactivate their, their corporation. The RDE corporation is what the um, trademark is in. But that still doesn't negate the fact <laughs> and I'm not a lawyer, but, but that still doesn't negate the fact that they filed it in a defunct corporation because on January, whatever, when they filed it, it wasn't active. So I guess they're mad at me for using public records to form an opinion. Exactly, Von I You know, that's pretty much what smart people do and you know i can't speak for everybody who's a blogger who's a blogger who's on the internet and who's discussing this but you know i've been blogging for 10 years now we talk about this all the time only thing i do i put i, I look at all the facts as presented to me and then i form an opinion hell just like look just like the queen's court <laughs> or whatever just like a court just like anything like you know it's just my opinion that's what my blog is my opinion so you know, people who say I, I'm biased, yes, I'm very biased because it's all about me and how I feel about a subject, a subject, a person, or whatever. So, now, yeah, you know, when y'all come on and y'all see a post about the situation and, you know, it's written a certain way, you're going to be like, oh, she's so biased, and now you know why. <laughs> now you'll know why. So, and again, the only reason why I didn't, like, I was contemplating talking about it, talk, contemplating blogging about it, talking about whatever. I didn't want to bring attention to it because at the time, all of those texts, a lot of those texts, you know, the copies were still out there. And there still may be some out there. I just didn't out there. I just didn't want to give it attention. And then people, you know, the phone calls increase because, you know, I'm sure I'll continue to get some. It's not like, you know, once you put something on the net, it doesn't disappear. You know, I'm not dumb enough to think that because it's taken down. Nobody screenshot it. I'm not that dumb. You know, I'm a blogger, too. So, I'm just warning anybody else who gets it, if you do repost it, just take my number out. I don't even give a damn about the text. Just don't put my number on the internet, period. It's not cool. I'm not changing my number. I'm not. I'm not. And yes, I have copies of the voicemail messages. I have the numbers that they came from. I'm sure they're, you know, spoof numbers or whatever, but... It's several different phone numbers. I got a whole list of them. Every single time they call, I block it or whatever. But the list is getting longer and longer. So. Exactly. My number has been the same for 15 years. I'm not I'm not changing my number. Sorry. So. Anyway, you guys. Just wanted to come through and say hello. Happy Sunday. Let me go ahead and write up my um, housewife post and probably comb my hair. I might do a um, a vlog later. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely um, post this on on the um, on the YouTube. So, thank you, Crystal Clear. Thank you. It was just calling me fat, ugly, all kind of stuff. Liars, all, child, same old, same old. Ugly, fat, stank, fish market, your pussy stank. Just whatever you can think of. It, you know. Again, I, you know, I was, I wasn't. I don't like inviting negativity. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm out having fun, I ain't trying to read all that. I ain't trying to listen to all that. I ain't trying to do it. You know, 
I'm sending them to my friend. I sent one to, uh, like, Zills last night. Like, listen to this shit, child. And you could tell it was a transgender person. Like, <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm not going to even say that. But it was just like, girl, like, why, why is this, why is this happening to me? <laughs> why am I being harassed? Like, you know, it's like the whole LGBT community says the same thing. Like, they go through struggles. They go through problems. But at the end of the day, when have they ever supported black women? Like, I'm just... At this point, you know, I don't want to make it against the black women versus the gays or the or the, the 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 transgender or whatever it is. But you know, then I get all of these t like you don't like her because she looked better than you, and I and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like I never said I didn't like T.S. Madison. I never said that. Like never. So. It is entertaining. That's why I was watching it. Like I told you the other day, it's like, it's like um, it's better than loving hip hop. <laughs> you know, to me, like the back, like, shoot, I'm not hitting the ball, throwing it back and forth. They were, but don't drag me in it just because, you know, it's rumored that Funky Don Eva might be in it or whatever. Shoot, it, pay me my money. Like, I'm sure they'll pay him under the table because, you know, they're kind of shady like that. But if he uses his social, it's on. You hope they use straight from the A.com. Exactly. Love the traffic. Love the traffic to the YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is growing. I appreciate y'all for supporting my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash A-T-L-I-E-N. Um, it is, uh, child was playing in my makeup this morning because, you know, I didn't want to come on looking ugly because my hair was already messed up. But, <laughs> but um, my YouTube channel, like, I got it back. Remember I told you it had been deleted. I got it back in January and it was 2,000 um, subscribers. Now it's up to eight. So I appreciate the support. And again, my look, my su subscribers don't match my views because my views are off the chain. I think I got like 5 million views total off the 100 videos that I have up there. So I appreciate y'all for support. I appreciate y'all for um for listening. You know, I know that everybody's, you know, judged one way or the other. Everybody is judged on the internet, but at the end of the day, like I always say, I hope that I hope that my character speaks for itself, but it's just, it's just hard sometimes. It's just hard. But anyway, you guys, I will talk to you later. Um, Karma is not a nice person. You got that right, be more shutty. But thank you for, for listening, y'all. I'll talk to y'all.